Welcome to our channel. Emma Raducanu set for busy finish to 2024 as post-U.S. Open schedule takes shape, Seoul, Beijing, and Hong Kong on agenda. Emma Raducanu will soon be back in action following her first round exit at the U.S. Open. The 21-year-old, who is ranked at no. 72 in the WTA World Rankings, will be on court this month and could have a busy finish to the 2024 tennis season. Raducanu has no ranking points to defend for the rest of the season, so could move up the rankings if she performs well. Emma Raducanu's summer did not finish as she would have hoped as she was beaten in the first round of the U.S. Open by Sofia Kinnan. The loss means Raducanu has still not won a match at the New York Grand Slam since her shock victory as a qualifier in 2021. Raducanu went into the tournament without having played a match for four weeks and admitted afterwards she would have preferred to play a little bit more. She also said she might look to manage her schedule slightly differently moving forward. So where is Raducanu playing next following the U.S. Open, and what is her schedule for the rest of 2024? After a shortage of matches in August, Raducanu looks set to be busy over the next few months. She will make her return to the court at the WTA 500 Korea Open in Seoul, which starts on September 16. Raducanu made the semifinals of the Korea Open in 2022, losing to Jelena Ostapenko. She will be joined at the tournament by World No. 1 Iva Swiatek, U.S. Open runner-up Jessica Pegula, and Alina Rybakina. Raducanu is then set to play at the WTA 1000 China Open in Beijing, which starts on September 25. She might then play the WTA 1000 Wuhan Open, which gets underway on October 7. Otherwise, she is entered to play in the Hong Kong Open, taking place from October 28. The tournament in Hong Kong will likely mark the end of the season for Raducanu, who will then soon turn attentions to Australia at the start of 2025. Raducanu looked to be trending in the right direction as she made the last 16 at Wimbledon, and then started her hard-court summer by reaching the quarterfinals in Washington, D.C. However, her decision not to play qualifying at either the Canadian Open or Cincinnati Open, where she did not get a wild card and was not ranked high enough to get into either main draw directly raised eyebrows. I'm going to go back to the drawing board, train, and analyze where I went wrong and try to improve for the rest of the season. Raducanu said after her U.S. Open exit. I feel down, I feel sad. Obviously, this is a tournament I really want to do well in. I was maybe a bit slow starting. Yeah, I would have preferred to probably play a little bit more before coming into the U.S. Open. I know when I have a lot of matches, just like every player, you feel really good. You feel like everything's automatic. So yeah, I think I can learn from it and manage my schedule slightly differently. Rajakanu is now ranked at no, 72 in the world rankings and has no points left to defend this year. If Rajakani finishes the year strongly, she could climb into the top 50 in the world. Thanks you for watching. Stay connected with us for more videos.